This is an anti-aircraft shell from World War II. The glass tube in the middle is its radio proximity fuse. The liquid inside the glass tube is an electrolyte, and at the top are the oscillator, amplifier, and antenna. The shell typically uses fragments from its explosion to knock down enemy aircraft. Early radio proximity fuse used a mechanical timer to detonate the shell after a set period, but this required recalculating the aircraft's trajectory and distance, resulting in a low hit rate. Later, the wireless proximity fuse was invented. It works by using an oscillator to emit a radio signal, then amplifying the reflected signal. This is used to trigger the detonating mechanism, which ignites the shell. However, this fuse relies on dry batteries for power, and the battery's lifespan is only two to three months, meaning it cannot be stored for long periods. To solve this, the liquid proximity fuse was developed. It places the electrolyte in a vacuum tube with the solid part of the battery on the outside, solving the issue of battery lifespan. When the shell is fired, the immense acceleration causes the vacuum tube to shatter, releasing the electrolyte. The centrifugal force from the high-speed rotation of the shell fills the battery plates with the electrolyte, completing the circuit and enabling the fuse to control the detonation distance. As a result, the accuracy of the shells improved by several orders of magnitude.